Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, so today is the long-awaited 10 more hidden features for the Galaxy Note 9. If you did miss it, our first half is going to be pinned to the top of the comment section. After all, we have 20 total tips and tricks, and the last one was a hit, so let's see if we can get this one up there as well. So, it works simple. If you know all 10 hidden features, let me know in the comment section and you get a like thumbs up. But if you don't know all 10 hidden features, then I get a like thumbs up. Let's get started and see who gets the thumbs up. All right guys, so for our first hidden feature, it is two different ways of disabling the Bigsby button. And these are built into the phone. So the first one is a new update. So if you update the latest version of Bigsby Voice, you can now hit these three dots, go into settings, and then instead of pressing once to open Bigsby, you can change it to twice. This makes it so if you press it once, nothing will happen anymore, which is really great because I think that's the most troublesome part. However, if you want to disable it permanently, this actually comes from a contact that is in Korea from Samsung, and that is if you go all the way down uh, in developer options. So if you haven't figured out how to do developer options, check out our video on how to speed up and save battery life on your phone. But once in developer options, you go to all the way to the bottom applications and go to background check and you turn off the Bigsby icon. So Bigsby voice is one. And I think the other one would be all the way towards the bottom, which would be uh, voice wake. Yeah, there we go. So I think these are the only two. Check to see if there's any others that you don't want to ever run in the background. Uh, this could be something that you might want to look at. I didn't like the security Wi-Fi thing that uh, Samsung has built in. I'll use my own. But those are things that you could disable and they won't ever pop up anymore. So now, even if I press it multiple times, it's not gonna go off. So whichever you like better, it's a quick way to make sure that you don't accidentally press Bigsby ever again. For the next hidden feature, it is a really great one, and that is a fingerprint to unlock either your regular phone or your secure folder. So I have my phone set up so that when I use this hand, it will unlock regular. And then when I use this finger instead, it will instead unlock my secure folder. Two different logins with two different fingers, just depending on which one you do. Now, how do you set this up? Well, first and foremost, you obviously have to register your fingerprints, so do that. Then from there, you wanna to go to biometrics and security and go into secure folder. Now, secure folder is basically its own phone entirely, and basically you have to restore things on its own or backup things on its own. You add your own different accounts from the regular accounts and even your own different apps. It will not come with every app that you normally have. These are the only ones that come on by default, and then you can add more to it to actually use in your secure folder. Then, once you have all that done, you can then make sure that you actually log in with a dedicated fingerprint. So I'm gonna put in my super secret password right now and then turn on dedicated fingerprint. So that way you can actually choose which finger will allow you to unlock secure folder right from the phone being off to you unlocking it. A lot of ways to do this and really I just love the fact that it's just really quick and easy to be able to unlock and go right to secure folder. You have everything you need, you can add apps, but if you really wanna keep your separate work and personal life separate, this is a great way to do it and go right to what you need to. So for the next hidden feature, it is gonna be making a really cool GIF for your always on display. Now it will only run in the beginning, but it's just a really cool way as soon as you turn on or look at your phone from coming out of your pocket or purse, that it has a nice animation. So let me show you how to do it. Now, first you're going to get a GIF uh, from Giphy right here. So you're going to go in here and find, you know, to your heart's content, the one you want it to be. Not that one. All right, then once you find that, you have a really cool one. I like a subtle one, uh, but if you wanna make it really more cool and looking when you do it, this is a cool one to go with. So we're going to make, set it as always on display image. 
And even though it's a GIF, it will actually completely load here. Now it will eventually stop. So it's gonna show you how it looks like when it stops. So just know that. But once you have that set, you can hit done. It will load it into the always on display. And then that is going to be your new cool animation when you look at your phone. So I really like it. Now, obviously it's not gonna run forever just simply because of the fact that it will drain your battery life if it would do that. But it's just a really nice cool feature. Again, when you take it out of your pocket, it'll just immediately turn on and have it there. So I like it. I think it's a real personal touch and one you can add now to your phone. All right, guys. So for the next hidden feature, it is one that is just a better photo editor for your phone and it's actually built in. See, you actually have a very limited uh, different things you can do at the bottom right here, but you can do a lot more if you just hit these three dots and scroll down to open photo editor. Now there's a lot more you can do here in terms of things, but I'm gonna show you two things that I really like and that I think are really cool. And that is first tone and then spot color. Now this turns everything black and white except for one color you choose. So for this one, I can actually choose blue or I can even pinch to zoom in, go with the green, let's go with green and make the green only color and you can erase which colors you want to if you want a specific section you really can do a lot with what you want so i really like that one uh, just because it re really allows for some cool artistic looking photos so if i would just do this for instance it's a nice different look than the photo I had just a second ago you can also do things right here one in particular is lasso so lasso I really like because you can actually take a part of a photo, maybe not the whole thing, and normally you would take a lot more time with this, but you can then do auto shape and it will exactly take out everything but what you wanted to select. And then that would be your new photo with a transparent background. So really cool when it comes to that. So these are really more advanced photo editing things you can do. Now, uh, built in on your photo editor, I also want to let you know that you always have auto. So if you ever just want to see what Samsung thinks that the photo should be like, auto is a great way to go to. And I would say about half the time it actually turns out to be a better photo. Then you have the decorations, uh, which you already had. And then you do have some advanced stuff. If you do want to mess with black light and more advanced kind of editing, you have that available as well. So yeah, just a quick and easy way to really fine tune your photos than you may have thought before. There's also the fact that you can also do multiple and then either make a GIF or a collage or even a movie with those. And then say if you are on a GIF, you can actually really even edit that as well. So you can slow down the time of it and really make it a lot slower. You can also change the aspect ratio. You can actually reverse it or boomerang it kind of style if you want to do that. So it's really kind of interesting to see how all the different effects you can do all built into the phone. Even add a subliminal photo if you want. So lots of different things you can do here. Uh, you can even delete uh, parts of it. You can make it more bigger, whatever you want to do. It's a really cool way to edit your photos more creatively. So for the next hidden feature, it is called Separate Sound App. Now this is under Sounds and Vibrations and Settings. And then you can scroll all the way down to the bottom and go to Separate App Sound. Now this is a really cool feature because basically it allows you to play one audio on a Bluetooth device and then have your separate audio on here. So a good example is that is say I'm at a party and I'm, I'm the DJ, I'm the main person playing the music. Well, I can select whatever app I want to play music or YouTube or whatever kind of thing I want on there. And you can add more apps. Let's play Google Play Music. And then I can select what device that that app that I selected will play on. So I selected a Bluetooth device. So music is going on in there. On the meantime, I could look at Instagram. I could, you know, uh, do anything with audio on my phone and it will not affect, I can play a game and it will not affect the music that is currently streaming through Bluetooth. I really like this ability because it really separates your phone and your Bluetooth speaker. And I think this is really especially good if you're ever having a housewarming party or anything like that, where you're the, the source of the music still allows you to do whatever else you want on your phone.
All right guys, so this next tip is a quick, easy way to save battery life, especially when you need it. You're out on a long day. I use this always on theme parks. So let's get started. Settings, accessibility, direct access, turn it on, and then go to color adjustment. What this does is it just turns your phone into grayscale. Doesn't lower the quality, doesn't do anything like that, but the colors are a lot dimmer because the vibrancy is completely off. You have no colors whatsoever, it's just black and white. And this is really great just because you have the ability to make your battery life last longer while still keeping the same sharpness. You know, you can do this at 1440p, 1080 or 720. You do not lose any quality. It just turns everything black and white. And it's a great way to save power quickly when you need it. So for the next hidden feature, this is called baby proofing your phone. I thought of this when I saw a friend give his phone to his baby and call people, did all these crazy things. So this way I just, you can give it to a baby and have it playing music, have it watching a video, even a YouTube video, or just leave it on a colorful photo. So how you go is into settings, accessibility, dexterity and interaction, and then turn on interaction control. Now you're gonna hold the power and the volume up button on wherever you want this to happen. So let's go over it. So if we go to our favorite YouTube channel and you just wanna keep this playing, I completely understand, definitely you should do it. Uh, go on a playlist and basically play a video, hold down the power and volume up, and then it brings you right here, block the whole screen, done. And now you cannot do anything. Power button doesn't work, volume up, volume down, nothing works. You can't press home, can't press anything. None of the buttons work. So basically you can hand this over to a baby and they can't do anything with it. This just basically allows you so they won't mess up any calls or anything like that. Now, if you are wondering why my video played and your video stopped, that is because of the fact that you do unfortunately need to have uh, what I have, which is YouTube Prime, in order to have videos playing in the background. So I just wanted to clear that up because I have been asked that in the past. And that's all you need is uh, if you have YouTube Prime, you can do that. But if not, I mean, you can actually just have it, you know, play music, watch a video, uh, go on a colorful photo. And the, pro the point is, is that the baby can't do anything bad with your phone. With this next feature, I think it's a long forgotten one, but one I really like, and that is being able to define any word using your S Pen. So if you ever do not know what a word is, you can just simply highlight it, hit these three dots, and then go to dictionary. Then it will pop up and define it. Now, if you haven't done it before, it will ask you to obviously download the dictionary, and this is where you can also translate words if you don't want to do it through the normal means. But it's just a really great, simple, and easy way to be able to define any word that you don't know that you happen to come across. All right, so for the next one, we are going to jump to the camera, and it is just a quick and simple way of making a nice, clean GIF. Now, how you do that is by hitting the settings button and scrolling all the way down to the bottom, and on hold camera button, by default, it takes burst shots. I really don't see the point of too many burst shots anymore just because I don't just never need to use it, but I rather create a GIF. So what this will allow me to do is now, if I hold it down and go like this, I will now have a GIF created right away. So it's simple, quick, and easy, and I just like the ability to do that, just to be able to create a quick one if I need it. I don't need to create a video, I don't need to create a photo, but just holding it down, quick and easy access to always create a quick GIF if need be. All right guys, so for our last hidden feature, we do have the floating shutter button. This is always a useful one, but I still find a lot of people didn't know this and then they love it when they find out. So basically your shutter button can actually move and all you have to do is grab it. So you take it out and then you can put it wherever you want and that is your new shutter button to take a picture. So if you're ever at that hard to reach angle where you're in a noisy area, voice commands won't work, you have the ability to not reach over here, well, just move this wherever you want in place and bam, take the photo. Simple, quick, and easy to do and I really love this feature, especially if you don't wanna take out your S Pen either, it's just a quick, simple way to take a quick shot doesn't matter what position you need to be in. And then you can always tuck it away back in when you're done with it. 
All right, guys, thank you as always so much for watching. Remember, if you did not know every 10 hidden feature, make sure to give a like, thumbs up. If you haven't checked out the first video, make sure to check out that one and make sure to subscribe so we can grow our subscriptions and make sure that we can provide more and more great content for the Galaxy Note 9, as well as all other smartphones coming out this year. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.